Hello everyone, welcome back to Nick Crow Addict channel. Today I'm gonna show you how to crochet the most stitch. And I'm gonna show you in one color first, and then I will show you how to change color as well. And I made this video tutorial before, but I just show you how to make in one color. That's why I decided to redo that video. And for this most stitch is multiple of two chains, or you can chain an even number of chains. And this is two row repeat, which is row two and row three. Very, very easy. All right, so I'm gonna start with this color A. So I use Chip G Stonewatch XL for this tutorial, both the same brand. And this is size four medium weight yarn, and I use crochet hook size five millimeter. You can use whatever hook you have at home or whatever yarn you have at home, okay? Just to practice. Okay, so this is my color A. So I'm gonna make a slip knot. And then I'm gonna make 10 chains just to show you. So this is even number of chain, okay? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. After I have 10 chains, I'm gonna make one single crochet into the second chain from the hook. I insert the hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through those two loops. This is the first single crochet, and then I chain one, skip the next chain, and make one single crochet into the next chain. Chain one, skip the next chain, one single crochet into the next chain. And we're gonna repeat this across. Chain one, skip the next chain, one single crochet into the next chain. Chain one, skip the next chain, one single crochet into the next chain. Here's what it looks like at the end of row one. And then for row two, chain one and turn, or you can turn first and chain doesn't matter. And then the chain one doesn't count at its stitch. And after I chain one and turn, I'm gonna make one single crochet into the first stitch here. And then one single crochet into the chain one space right here. And then chain one, one single crochet into the next chain one space. Repeat that, chain one, one single crochet into the next chain one space. Chain one, one single crochet into the next chain one space. Okay. And then now I have one stitch left here at the end of row two. I'm gonna make one single crochet into that last stitch. Insert the hook into the last stitch and make a single crochet like that. Here is the end of row two. And then, like I said, I'm gonna show you in one color first, okay, a few rows. So for row three, we chain one and turn and make one single crochet into the first stitch. And then chain one and make one single crochet into the next chain one space here. And then repeat that. Chain one, one single crochet into the next chain one space. Chain one, one single crochet into the next chain one space. Okay, and then now when you have two stitches left at the end, you're gonna chain one and then skip the next stitch and make one single crochet into the last stitch. Like that. Here's what it looks like at the end of row three. And you're just gonna repeat row two and row three over and over until you reach your desired length or width, whatever you're making. 
and I'm gonna show you one more repeat with the color A which is row 4 and row 5 so for row 4 I'm gonna repeat row 2 I chain 1 and turn and make a single crochet into the first stitch here and then single crochet into the next chain 1 space and then chain 1 one single crochet into the next one chain space chain one one single crochet into the next one chain space chain one one single crochet into the next one chain space and i have one stitch left at the end here i'm gonna make one single crochet into the last stitch Okay, and row 5, repeat row 3, we chain 1 and turn and make one single crochet into the first stitch and then chain 1, one single crochet into the next one chain space here, chain 1, one single crochet into the next one chain space chain one one single crochet into the next one chain space and at the end you have two stitches left you're gonna chain one and skip the next stitch and make one single crochet into the last stitch see very very easy right so yeah you just keep repeating row two and row three over and over and i cannot show you how to chain color here so for row 6, we're going to repeat row 2. So I'm going to chain color. There's many methods you can chain color, whatever you prefer. So I'm going to show you the method that I like to use the most. So for the last single crochet on row 5, I'm just going to redo that. Okay, so just redo the last single crochet so I insert the hook into the last stitch yarn over pull up a loop and now I'm not gonna yarn over and pull through the last two loops with the color A I'm gonna bring the color B up and hold it on the back and then yarn over hook with the color B and pull through those two loops this is what I like to use for changing color and then row 6 we're gonna repeat row two so we chain one and turn and then we're gonna make one single crochet into the first stitch just repeat row two and then one single crochet into the next chain one space and then chain one one single crochet into the next chain one space chain one one single crochet into the next chain one space chain one one single crochet into the next chain one space and when I have one stitch left I gonna make one single crochet into the last stitch like that and then for row seven we repeat row three so we chain one and turn make one single crochet into the first stitch and then chain one one single crochet into the next one chain space chain one one single crochet into the next one chain space chain one one single crochet into the next one chain space and when i have two stitches left i'm gonna chain one skip the next stitch and make one single crochet into the last stitch like that so i chain color this one every two rows so i just gonna show you how to bring the color a up and show you how to chain color again so for the last single crochet i'm not gonna complete the last single crochet with color b i'm gonna bring the color a up like that and then yarn over pull through the last two loops with the color a because the next row i'm gonna use the color a like that all right so for the next row gonna be row eight I'm gonna repeat row two. So I chain one and turn and make single crochet into the first stitch, single crochet into the next chain one space, 
and chain one, one single crochet into the next one chain space. Like that. Just repeat row two and row three over and over. All right. So for this one here, I chain color every two rows. So here is row one, row two, I use color A, row three, row four, I use color B, row five, row six, I use color A, row seven, row eight, I use color B, like that. I think it's so beautiful. I love it. All right, that's it, guys. Just two and three, two and three, two and three. And if you want to see the project that I used the most stitch for that, I will put the links in the description below. You can check that out. I hope you can come up with the new design with this more stitch. I would love to know what you're going to make with this more stitch. Please comment below and you can text me on Facebook or Instagram. I'll put all the links in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next video. Bye-bye.